In the previous video, we learned about dynamic routes with React Router. We created the user's listing page and nested the user's details page. It's all working great, but there is room for improvement. At the moment, we just display the text details about user irrespective of who the user is. In a typical application, you would want to extract the user ID and do something with that ID. Perhaps make an API call to fetch the details about that user. For our scenario, let's keep it simple and display the user ID from the URL in the component. Now to extract the route parameter, we need to import a hook from the React Router package. So in the user details file, at the top, import use params from React Router DOM and then call the hook within the component. Use params with parentheses. The hook returns an object of key value pairs. Let's call it params. So const params is equal to use params. This object contains key value pairs of the dynamic params from the current URL. The parameter we want to access is user ID. Let's store that in a constant. Const user ID is equal to params dot user ID. It is important to note here that user ID on the params object corresponds to the dynamic segment we have specified in the route config, colon user ID. Once we have the user ID, we can render it as part of the JSX. Details about user, and we render the user ID. If we now save the file and head back to the browser, navigate to slash users slash one, and we see the text details about user one. Change it to slash two, we see details about user two. Slash 100, details about user 100. So this is pretty much how you get hold of URL params in your component. Import the use params hook and invoke it and access the property on the returned object. If you wish to, you can destructure user ID in the same line. So const destructure user ID and delete the next line. Save the file and the output remains the same. In the next video, let's take a look at search params with React Router. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.